everyone. How you all doing? Welcome to the Daily Life Project channel. Once again, we are back and uh, ready to rumble with work. Because <laughs> that's all we do. Work, work, work. You gotta work, eh? And um, we are sanding and restoring this table so we can put in the outdoor tents. Um, that's what you guys are going to see in the beginning of this video and then uh, some more cool stuff you know and um, like I always say stay tuned guys because it's just not stopping okay we're gonna roll we're gonna keep on going <laughs> so we send it down the table and of course you guys must already know that we are going for this type of color and uh, texture and like old school platine you know on wood <laughs> but it looks beautiful doesn't it guys just this so many different cool old accident colors what i call it because it wasn't on purpose just like just happens you know and um yeah so i put resin epoxy into the cracks okay and some holes that were here and then next year we'll sand it again full a bit more holes and so just keep on getting better and better so this is the second time and look how many like colors different colors it's got some its tones you know so each year we do something on it, it's just going to become more beautiful Beautiful color, Emma. Mm -hmm. Wow, really is beautiful. Okay, everyone. So beautiful garden. I'm actually going to do like a sum up uh, in one video. I'm going to put uh, from the beginning until now or later on. It's like let's say it will be like the 50 days of a garden. Look at all the jam squash just going crazy, eh? And the beans. I mean, everything is just thriving. You know, it is a blessing. I thought I'd get more things in here, but I don't think anything else is growing. I'm still not sure, but we might have a strawberry trying to grow. And that would be cool because none of them caught on. So if we got a strawberry, that's a win-win situation. This melon has very new leaves. Um starting to grow but that one's caught on that's one that's one that's one and that's one and that one's also catching on but this one here uh, something ate the leaves the other night so we'll have to replant one here not too bad not too bad it wasn't very bad and the the basil is just uh, I thought this this normally is very sensitive and this guy is just happy so yes yes very good very good okay so let's go get ourselves another lettuce as you can see we've been replanting so we keep stock okay like that it keeps on growing while we removing others and uh, we are going to go for another purple i don't know why the purple ones grow faster than the green ones uh, probably they're a bit more evolved i'm not sure but anyhow let us take one of these beauties out so you just got to pull it from beneath and just uh, yank it up and that's it you know take that leaf and just uh, normally i shake it to keep the ground there okay and good to go now to plant uh, another one in the place of that one and uh, yes we got sufficient for now but we could put uh, a little bit more because lettuce always go very quick and um, tomatoes are growing I mean everything's just it's the first year that everything's just growing so quick look at those beautiful tomatoes starting amazing and uh, raspberry still giving I guess then it's going to take a rest um, it did give us quite a lot we still got like a few raspberries right out of this. This was beautiful. Very tasty. Much tastier than the ones you buy in the market. 
the blackberries I'm still waiting for them to get um, dark okay they still have this reddish color surprise I think they need the heat now now it's going to come even more heat so it's going to be good and our blueberries are already starting to become <laughs> with the blue purplish um, purplish color so that's just so cool okay let's put this on the table everyone yep hey this out guys whole road collapse crazy <laughs> the road just collapsed yeah can you imagine if someone had fallen inside the whole road that must be like uh, 50 meters or more How crazy is that? Wow. Thank God no one got hurt. Okay everyone, so we have our buckets, we have our rust remover. Um, I already had an open older one that I used to take the rust out of steel uh, products and forged steel product uh, I bought another smaller bottle to mix with the older one because it still works it's going to be a little bit more dirty this one of course whenever you maneuver in this type of stuff always use gloves so what I do is I put the I'm going to put the crystals with this rust remover liquid not gel and uh, then I'll just pass it through water because once you pass this through water all the residues and everything disappear because it dissolves with water. That's how it's manufactured, okay? We're going to clean the crystals, okay? Just pre wash them with uh, water. All down in there. And just clear them up a little bit. Some are a bit whiter and cleaner than others. Others are quite dirty. For the rust stain. Um, another video I did pulling iron, iron. It is iron, but it's rust, you know. That's what I should have been saying. Sorry, guys, for that. So, um, that's enough. I just put all of them in the bucket. So, this is just water that I put here in the basin. That detergent's a special way to throw it away. Okay. Just don't put it down your drain, people. This type of products. Remember, this was just water in the basin. I'm not putting the um, detergents in there. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to pour this. So we've got to scatter this more around. Just, okay, just make sure they're all there. I don't know if it's going to fill the whole thing. But what we'll do, we'll just keep on turning the crystals with some pliers, okay? Do not use our hands. Or just with the gloves. So, it's going to come out a bit dirty, this one. Let's see if I don't get all that dirt out. Should probably be doing it like that. Yes, because like that I can capture all the dirt from. Okay. So let's pour this whole thing inside okay so I've got the smaller bottle now we'll just pour it all inside oh, that should be so okay that's not bad it's filling almost it's almost to the top of the, all of them that's not bad so I used distilled water to clean the tools afterwards and now we just let it sit guys so and then tomorrow, we'll come here, see how they are. Um, the ones that are inside already, we'll take them out because they'll be ready. And then we'll gain more space for the rest of them, okay? So all those that are on the bottom, okay, see? They will be the first ones to come out. And we'll see the results, guys. So, if it works, it's a cool way to clean these crystals because you can buy this in any hardware shop or anything you know um, 
it's quite practical. I actually bought this in a famous hardware shop, Leroy Merlin. So it's quite easy to find it. So if this works, guys, if we have success, I'm just glad to share it. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to close the video with this um, and some other content. And then on the next video, we'll see the results. Okay, like that, tomorrow I can launch another video with some more cool stuff. See, guys, so that's exactly what I was using all these stones for. Uh, you have probably seen it in the first videos or whenever I post through here um, But you see I have to fill it up more and uh, That's when I started to find the crystals in the ground and I started to scoop up for these nice looking rocks So most of these already all Attached to the ground see none of them are loose. This one is because this one someone just put it there Um because they think it's just going to get stuck on its own, you know. <laughs> but you got to make cement. <laughs> so that's why I've been gathering them. Okay. Um, they will like um, break easily sometimes if you step on it. And that's why I don't like using sharp ones. But someone also started to choose. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm choosing bigger ones. Hello, Sasha. <laughs> so I'm choosing bigger ones okay okay little girl okay so i'm using rounder ones and bigger ones and flatter ones so i can just higher the surface up you know bring it from like here onto an angle and get rid of all these sharp edges just put other rocks on top so it's very easy you just put cement and just put them on top and they get stuck you see i can't rip this out unless i hit it with a hammer so that's the idea you know and that's when i discover the crystals so it's all becoming very interesting and check this out guys hey people how beautiful did this table stay so i was looking for this like um fire chaos theme you know <laughs> on the wood and um every year i varnish and i treat the, this wood so every year it just becomes like more colorful uh, of course then you can just sand it down to the raw that's the raw wood you can just do these little patterns so how cool is that guy what a beautiful table that will be used for the outdoor tents so plenty plenty work okay tomorrow um gonna probably go down to the beach do some cool things see if i can find any more cool stuff uh, going to put another um, layer on this table to make sure that it's good for the whole summer and the winter. It's got to last for this year. I mean, next year I'm going to shoot it again. And um, take care of the benches, cut the grass. Uh, I've got to do some other thing in the car, in the whole headquarters because that's almost done. The exterior parts and everything else. I'll also show you guys that. Um, now I gotta get it ready for the inside. Yes, very, very excited, very motivated. Things are just going, going, going. And uh, very blessed. Thank you, the Lord, for everything you've been doing. So I'll see you guys um, tomorrow on the next video. Okay. And um, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to. Okay, you're free <laughs> to do whatever you want. And uh, and I'm out. So these are shells I caught at the beach, you see. So here they they're still alive. Did you see that? <laughs> so that's what they are. Now I know. You free them in the sea, eh? <laughs>